and in this episode, we try and make the best of a bad situation while waiting on parts for the patrol. It is stressful. I mean, no, no one wants all this to happen. It happens. Alrighty, let's try and sort this out. We're borrowing until we can get our own. Yeah. <laughs> this is it, dropping the car off. Fingers crossed, no complications. It's a trying time. Um, and it's, it's just a bit unfortunate and I guess bad form that, you know, another fellow traveler is just laughing at our misfortunes. Oh, yes, the car is ready. Lights up the whole planes. It is amazing and wow. Oh man, what a day, what a day. Van, now the car. Oh. Well, and now it's the weekend, so everything's gonna be closed. So, well, there's not much we can do. At least Cooper PD does have shops, um, does have repair places. It's a, it's a bigger kind of town. It's a town where I guess if we need to order stuff, it will you know, come through here first from Adelaide. So, we'll, um, yeah, hopefully uh, someone's got a seal for us. Yeah, and I don't know about the brake lines, they look like specific, like special brake lines for the caravan. Well, uh, I'll have to ask the front desk, which is going to close very soon. So I'll find out some information about that. All right, so apparently there's an RAA here, which is about a minute drive. Not too sure how long for a walk. Probably give them a call on Monday. And there's a Bridgestone, which we can uh, check out maybe for uh, brake lines or I don't know. There'll be specialized lines. Hopefully they're not. Hopefully they're quite common. Um, never really took much notice of brake lines, but yeah, have to get it sorted out on Monday. So today, tomorrow, I guess just chill out here. Maybe go for a walk down to the IGA. Apparently it's got really good selection and it's pretty cheap. Well, compared to Brisbane and maybe get a lottery ticket. That'd probably help if we win. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so we've um, taken a bit of a stroll into town, checked out the home hardware. Um, See if they've got a jockey wheel. Now, they've got two jockey wheels. One is probably a little bit too small. It'll fit the jockey wheel receiver, but only has a 340 kilo limit. And it, it looks small. I mean, it looks like the one that we've got on now that we're borrowing. Now, the other one that is bigger, that would uh, take the weight of the caravan, is a swing up arm. But it only has a 100 mil U-bolt allowance which I think our drawbar might be thicker than that. So I'll have to go and check and, um, and see. This uh, Una Data, it has been trying. It has been a bit um, nerve wracking. Sure, it's broken a lot of things, but it hasn't broken us. But it is really, really testing us. Um, and Deb, well, I think um, it's, it's really testing her. Uh, Stress-wise, well, accumulatively, I guess it's it's just all added up. It's a trying time, um, and it's it's just a bit unfortunate, and I, I guess bad form that you know another fellow traveller is just laughing at our misfortunes uh, because you know we don't have all the fizz bang whistles and all of that jazz on our van you know it's not it's not about what you have it's about getting out there I think giving it a go and sure it'd be nice to have you know a big flashy van or, or um, airbags on your on your van um, but you also got to travel within your means too um, you know not everyone sells up and has all that spare cash or cash on hand to get the fanciest things. We definitely don't have a fancy caravan. It does us well, we love it, 
it's um, unfortunate that we broke some things um, by sheer unluckiness. Um, rock bounce up, hit the brake lines. Uh, rock bounce up, hit the, the seal in the um, axle of the car. Um, you know, things accidentally shake and rattle. Well, corrugations will do that. And I'm sure airbags will ease in that um, load, but you know, a lot of people travel without it. Yeah, so probably gonna sign off here. And uh, try and plan our next try and plan our next move because well, the next move will be here at um, Cooper Pedy until we get stuff fixed. If we have to order stuff and wait, that's what we have to do. I mean, we still are waiting for packages anyway to come through. Uh, we've ordered here, uh, but post office doesn't open until Monday, which is tomorrow. When we're standing at the uh, Big Four, thought, well, we'll at least get some power. They've got water there, uh, not hook up water. You have to fill up your tanks and then um, park up, which is fine, it's better than nothing. Uh, the kids keen for the pool. We're keen to just uh, just forget for a little bit, I guess, um, and try and de-stress. It is stressful, to say the least. I mean, no, no one wants all this to happen. It happens. It's a bit sad though that um, that I guess. With all that's happened, and you know, we find it very stressful. We don't know what's going to happen. That uh, some people think it's funny. Alrighty, time to start the day off with a mocker and a car repair. Mm. Hopefully, we can get it fixed. Fingers crossed. Come on, mechanical guards out there. And then uh, baby cakes can uh, rest at ease for a little bit. She, she got a bit sick of it yesterday. Walking uh, to the IGA, to Home Hardware, and then on the way back, the flies were getting a bit much. It was, um, yeah, I think everything was stacking on top, and then I guess also another fellow traveler was like laughing at our reels that, you know, because we didn't have the fanciest caravan or the fanciest suspension um, that you know this all could have been avoided um, and that they wouldn't travel without it and I'm sure yeah the suspension's great but you've you've also got to travel within your means as well um, you know and it wasn't really the suspension that did it for us it was you know unlucky rocks that flicked up hit the brake lines um, hit the rubber boot I'm assuming um, but yeah it's it's not cool not cool at all you know and it's bad form like it shows you true colors really now let's see if, you, if I can find this place all right so the first place didn't have stock but could probably get it in won't just do the CV boot we'll have to do the whole uh, shaft because he thinks well, you can't guarantee that there's not any wear from um, from the split seal uh, and that we've got a lift and that it's a common problem if you don't have a diff drop. Um, I mean, we do have a, a, a little lift. It's not huge, uh, 50 mil. Um, the, and the place that we got the, um, the lift done on the GVM upgrade, uh, didn't think we needed the uh, any higher than the 50 mil that we did. Um, so it's gonna be 850 for the drive shaft plus labor um, if he can get it in so I'll have to try somewhere else all right let's get on to the next place so the second place well they have a boot it may fit they're not too sure because obviously it's not specifically for the 62 um, they may be able to get to it next week, um, but if they have to order, he reckons it, uh, 
take a couple of weeks to get stuff up here. Oh, which is, uh, yeah, other than very inconvenient and, um, yeah, Deb's gonna, look, it's not ideal. Though, even though that uh, other place said um, they can get a part in tomorrow, but it'll be the whole shaft, uh, which, if they can get it in. Um, and but this guy, he said, yeah, the other guy is uh, charge you an arm and a leg, which price he gave was six fifty oh eight fifty for the shaft uh, plus labour. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to try a couple more. Alrighty, so balls was no go. Uh, well, one they didn't, don't have a mechanic on at the moment. Um, he didn't seem too concerned. He's like, are you driving on any dirt tracks? He's like, no, you could probably, you know, make it to Alice. I was like, well, I don't know how much grease is spurted out of that boot. Um, I don't want to do any damage. Um, so he recommended the guy across the road, Mick, um, which a couple of people have uh, said at the home hardware to check out. There's Bulls, which I just went to, and the guy across the road. So let's go and check that out. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mick, Mick, good old guy, Mick old, Mickey, hey. Anyway, let's, uh, fingers crossed and toes crossed, hand on heart, oh, other side, and let's see if we can get us back on the road, get a boot of some sort on there, and booted up to uh, Alice. Also, what's going on with the window? No hands? Oh, okay. Don't know. Uh, come on, don't stuff up. I'll have to Google it and then and see what's going on with the windows. Anyway, just add it to the list. <sighs> Alrighty, update. Um, Mick can do it for half the price of Bridgestone. Um, it's going to be the whole shaft because he said the the boot. Well, to put the boot on, you got to undo the knuckle, and that that can be very labour intensive as well. And that would be just probably as much as the the shaft itself, which is just pop on, will pop off, and pop back on. Um, and yeah, half the price of Bridgestone, which is really good. Uh, can get it in by Thursday, Friday. It's now Monday, uh, which is not a bad time, I guess. He said we can still drive around um, as long as no dirt roads, corrugation, stuff like that. Not going at 100 miles an hour um, and should be fine because there's like a, a shit ton of grease in there. Um, and if it's not making any clunking sounds, it should be good. That didn't seem too bad about it. Um, yeah, so yes, we'll just catch up on washing, catch up on schoolwork, see the sites around here, do everything we need to do, get everything ready. I'll go and get a cheap jockey wheel from Home Hardware. And uh, yeah, at least that'll get us through and we can unhitch at the next place um, until we decide to buy a, a you know proper decent one. We're getting there. It's uh, stressful to say the least. It is. Um, I'm trying not to show the stress, but it's, yeah, it's it's there. It's, it's underneath. Oh. Anyway, let's get to it. Get this jockey wheel, get back to camp, and, um, yeah, just deep breathe. All right, so another update, not on the uh, CV boot seal but something on the car, it's like, what the hell is that rattle on the roof? Checked everything, rolled it around, it's like, oh, the uh, awning seems a bit loose. The bracket itself is solid, but it looks like the awning to the uh, back backing plate, a couple of the bolts have snapped. Now, I'm pretty sure they're a specialized bolt that fits into a track. Um, so trying to find one of those. Oh, 
I've taken the wrong turn. Whew. Now, after an unfortunate week of damage on the Udna data track, I think it's time for some comfort food. So we're gonna bust out the uh, Filipino spring rolls, which Nanny made for us back in Maribor just before we left there. So brake container in case of emergency. I think it's an emergency. We need some comfort food after this um, very eventful week we've had. So we're gonna be staying here in Coopiti for roughly a week, hopefully just under, depending if the part comes or not in time. So we're doing washing, uh, we're doing the sheets, the kid sheets now, and then we'll probably do our sheets uh, after that, which have been quite a while, though they don't stink. Doesn't mean they're dirty, or doesn't mean they're not dirty. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get these on, let's get some comfort food. Let's get some of that serotonin, feel good stuff happening and some pleasure. Uh, and then let's get on to uh, fixing some stuff. Alrighty guys, another repair for the old Gourlay family. It's our awning. Now, we just got this free off a mate, which was uh, really good of him. Uh, but the awning itself has uh, come away from the mounting plate that's underneath. Now, they were pot riveted, so the pot rivets have obviously snapped um, for most of the way. They've held on by the top or the end pieces, which was good, so it never fell off. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is drill a hole straight through, uh, put some bolts in, and uh, Esme is your uncle's auntie. All right, so let's get to it. Pop them some bolts with some lock nuts on there. All right, let's get to it. All right, so awning's all secure now. Just have a quick squeeze there. Plus I siliconed it as well. If you have a look on the underside, you've got the uh, Loctite bolts or lock nut bolts. So let's uh, whack her on and uh, get back to some normality of the car. All right, the awning is back on. It is solid again, and hopefully it shouldn't rattle loose. I mean, we shouldn't have any corrugations heading up to uh, NT. Uh, well, there will be no corrugations. It's just be all bitumen. Uh, but if we, I guess, want to head into Arnhem Land, maybe there might be some corrugations there. Um, there'll be some dirt tracks, but not too sure about the corrugations. But at the moment, She's uh, rock solid, so old girl needs a bit of a clean, but she's going. A few more days and then hopefully we can get the old girl fixed. All right, so we've booked another four nights here, begrudgingly, well we have to anyway, because well we can't go anywhere with a, a busted uh, CV boot seal. So while we wait for parts to arrive in Coober Pedy, we thought we'd head out and see some touristy things like Tom's working opal mine. It's All right, mine. it's a mine, so we've got to go down, down into the deepest, darkest underground. We've got to be quiet because it's going to be very enclosed space. All right, so let's go and check it out. Hot tip, take the self-guided tour and take it close to the guided tour times. That way the kids will still get a ride on the bosun. Have a look, see if you can find anything, buddy. Oh. You're lucky. I'll get my torch on already. Come on, I can't go with Whoa, you. You have to just sit on the chair. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to look around you. There's some orange. Bye. Um, have a look Sweet. around. See what you can Shine see. Shine your torch. There's orange. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it wasn't scary at all, was it? Oh, no. Yeah, it's good. Very um, good. You are also given a UV torch so that you can search every nook and cranny for that little piece of opal that they definitely didn't leave on purpose. The kids absolutely had a blast on their treasure hunt. Oh, you saw the orange stuff in the chair. Now Tom's mine is pretty cool for the kids. They love trying to find little bits of opal. Um, we did the free tour because we were a bit too late to get the guided tour but I don't think the kids would have uh, actually handled standing around for an hour and a half, but it's good. Self-guided tour is pretty cool as well. There's little bits of uh, 
opal around for the kids to find. Uh, we are limited to eight per kid, uh, which is cool. There's plenty to find around anyway um, that are definitely not put there by the uh, operators. It's, uh, it's pretty cool coming down here. It's, it's literally and figuratively, it's um, nice and cool temperature. It's pretty amazing what they do here and how they cut it all out and uh, get it all ready and actually have the finished product. There's a lot of work that goes into it, uh, which I guess you don't see in the background. And it's uh, coming down here, you get a bit of an appreciation of how things are actually come to fruition. Alrighty, what have we got here? Divining rods. It's supposed to help you find a fault line in the earth. So you hold the wire in front and point it five degrees below the horizon. If you hold two rods, they will cross over as you go over a fault line. There's a fault line right there. Now the cool thing about Tom's mine is that the kids can trade in some of their opal for a chocolate which they definitely cashed in on. Uh, one at a time so we don't get them confused. How's that sound? <laughs> See the greens in that? In the top there. Yeah. So you get a bit of colour on the edge of this one. Do you see the colours, the reds and the greens? Will mum and dad allow you have a lollipop? You guys don't want a lollipop, do you? Thank you. Oh, there you go. Pick something out of the basket. Oh, wow. Yeah. <gasps> so thank, thank you. you. Oh, well, a bit of a lazy day today. Well, I mean, every day while we're waiting for the part for the patrol is a lazy day. Gonna head over to the camp kitchen, check it out. Uh, kids want toast. I mean, we don't have a toaster in the van. We do have a uh, one of those flat press uh, sandwich makers, but. Yeah, we'll try the toaster out, try, uh, check out the camp kitchen. Uh, kids wanna watch the TV. Uh, I might head off to the breakaways tonight to check out the sunset. Um, I also might head down to Mix and see if he's got some sort of fitting for brake line so I can uh, try and get something done on the caravan. Um, cut the line and then uh, get a hose clamp, pop it on. Alrighty guys, a bit of an update and a bit of positive news I uh, just spoke to Mick uh, where we're getting the CV done he said the parts gonna be in tomorrow morning at 8 30 he's gonna pick it up drop the car in by 9 30 shouldn't take long now I've driven around a couple of places he recommended one of his mates who's also named Mick who might have a part for the caravan uh, that Mick 2.0 wasn't home um, but he's got a lot of things in his yard had a look at that his yard just trying to find Mick but he wasn't there something that l resembled what I need uh, was there but obviously I just didn't want to take it because well you just don't do that without asking uh, first uh, so I took a photo of it um, went to Bull's garage he was very helpful but they didn't have anything uh, went to check a uh, bin full of parts couldn't find anything went to RAA took that photo showed them um, and they said yep we've got something how about this, which is uh, that? So I said, oh, how much for that? He said, oh, don't worry about it. So everyone seems very friendly here. Um, it, yeah, it's probably a really good community here. A lot of community spirit. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to Mix to see if he can, uh, maybe we can cut this, flare it out, and then I can put it on the caravan and hopefully uh, the ho like double clamp it uh, with some hose clamps and hopefully it doesn't pop off um, and then we've got four functional brakes instead of two I mean two will work but not ideal four you know be great so all right and Mick said you know he can get some pipe and flare it he's got a tool that he can do it um, but if we can do this one then yeah let's work for him let's work for everybody and then we can get back on the road all right wish me luck all right so undo the hose clamp unkink it cut the hose pop a couple of clamps on and pop one of these on either or it doesn't really matter all right 
get to it. Now, fingers crossed, I can get this flared piece in. Oh, come on. Oh, no, you bastard. Maybe I'll have to cut it so it's not flared. That's not going in. It's not going in easily. It's not going in at all. Of course, looks similar, but is not the same. Son of a gun. Oh well, we'll have to try and get this fixed in either Alice Springs or Darwin. Let's not try and force something that's not gonna fit. Clamp this one back up. All right, all good. Should be all right. Now, the brake line should be pretty easy to replace anyway. It's just this line here. It goes up to a junction up here, which you can unscrew. And then you've got another one there. It goes across to the other broken wall. So I'll get online and uh, try and see if I can order a part, send it to Alice, get it done myself. Uh, and then, um, yeah. Or ready ditch back to normal. All right, let's get stuff packed up and make sure that uh, this one's not leaking. I've crimped it back up, so oh well, these things happen uh, all at once. Ah, let's get a bit of a neck stretch. <clears throat> so, after getting the go ahead from Mick that it should be okay to drive out to the breakaways we head off with Great Aussie Odyssey to check it all out. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. Wild berries and cool water are our mouths to lie. We set a fire beneath the moon's light. No one else to disturb us. We enjoy the night and fall asleep warm, side by side. Alrighty, guys. Now, if you're in Kapiti, you must come down to the breakaways for sunset. It is absolutely spectacular. The sun's just gone down. It's a nice golden purpley color, lights up the whole plains. It is amazing. And wow, we come down here with uh, Great Aussie Odyssey and their mates as well. They're here just for the night. So um, we quickly caught up with them. Bunch of awesome people um, and amazing setup too. Um, so, you know, go and check them out. They're on uh, Instagram, YouTube, all that. Uh, but yeah, just check it out and soak all of this in. It's absolutely breathtaking. I mean, it's amazing from down here, but it's spectacular up the top. So let's shoot the drone up. I'm sure that the current won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. Wild berries as he kisses our mouths to lie. We sit near the fire under the moon's light. No one else to disturb us. We enjoy the night. Fall asleep warm, side by side. Up at dawn, I can see a breath of morning light. Warms our love as we bathe in the riverside. The water's cold and it's dangerous. But it brings me the light So we stand to read tongues of green and white Alright, well, this is it. Dropping the car off. Fingers crossed. No complications. Come on, we need this fixed. Then we get back on the road, back into our groove. Well, we're still trying to find our groove, but get back into some sort of routine. Well, we don't really have a routine, but get, just get back on the road. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cooper Petey's done. Alrighty, well, just dropped off the old girl, well, new girl, to get uh, a new CV. It uh, hopefully should take about an hour, he said, or half an hour. It's uh, pretty easy, he said, so just gonna go for a walk. I guess I, by the time I get to the caravan park, it'll be time to come back. Oh yes, the car is ready. Oh, run into town quickly, pick it up, and then she'll be back on track. Though, 
realistically, it's probably just going to be a, a brisk walk. Uh, still not as fit as I used to be. I mean, the old marathon jazz, maybe, but uh, it's been a while since I've done long runs or any extended exercise. But uh, yeah, so it should be good. Get it done. Uh, pack up, well, it's not really much of a pack up. We haven't unpacked that much at all. Get the caravan ready. Who knows, maybe we'll go see Crocodile Harry's on the uh, today or something. I don't know, we'll check it out. Alrighty guys, all done, all paid for. Uh, came in cheaper than I uh, was expecting and half the price of the other place I initially checked out. Now, if you come down to, well, the auto place, what is it called? Uh, auto service center it doesn't really have a name but uh, there's a mobile or mobile products sign at the front um, come down here and uh, if you need anything at all uh, Mick will sort you out bloody hell he's an awesome guy um, doesn't charge through the roof I mean out here you could charge whatever you want because you're in the middle of nowhere and you need something done you just got to get it done now I was gonna interview Mick but he looked pretty damn busy and plus there were customers waiting so I didn't really want to bother him uh, but I can't recommend him enough so if you get yourself into some mischief well come down to Mick across from the old driving all right let's uh, crack on bye 20 minutes later alrighty guys now we're down here with Mick the bloody legend who fixed our patrol um, in sweet F all time actually and was awesome. Now, I tried to look around to see a sign of what your garage is called. What's it called? Uh, M&M Services SA. Yeah, and how long you been open? Um, about two months. Two months. Wow, I mean, you've, everyone's coming in here for a chat and also get their car fixed or, or whatever, and it's, it's been a really good vibe here. Um, definitely recommend him. Don't go anywhere else. Um, I mean, we tried around and Mick was the man. He was uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, now, you've only been open two months. Yep. Yeah, and uh, since then you've been flat out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, Mick, he came over here, what, 24 years ago, just for an overnight? Yeah, for a weekend. For a weekend, so. actually, and uh, has never left. No, that's it, yeah. Which worked out well for us because, man, he got that car fixed in no time. Well, um, really appreciate your time, Mick. It's uh, been amazing, and hopefully that uh, iced coffee you will um, oh, slam down really well. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye. Well, first venture out on the new CV. Ooh. <laughs> feels smooth. Yeah. Well, it feels the same, so nothing really changes. But we're heading out to Crocodile Harry's to check it out. It uh, has mixed reviews. Um, if you have kids, they think you'll get asked a lot of questions. Um, so we'll see. Seven dollars a head. Yeah, well that's what the review online said. Oh, you got to turn right. Now that the Forby is fixed, it was time to check out Crocodile Harry's place, which made the kids ask lots of wonderful questions. What kind of people? Naked people. Oh, well, there you have it. The weird and wonderful Crocodile Harry's. Uh, it's a self-service thing, so, uh, and an honesty thing, so. Uh, just tap and pay, and you're good to have a look around. All right. Let's go and do some grocery shopping. The kids want to go to the skate park. Um, I want to get out of these flies. All right, oh, mate. Now, right next to the Shell service station over there, you've got the skate park and this amazing adventure playground, which the kids are absolutely loving. We've been here for a bit. It's probably time to head back. Now, it's not too far from Big Four, 
So we're gonna scoot back, but uh, yeah, bring your kids down here. Uh, it's late afternoon, so it's not too hot in the day, but then again, today wasn't that hot. Well, good morning. It's a super exciting day. More, I'm more excited than uh, Emily having her birthday. She always telling us every five seconds how excited she is, but we are actually leaving Cupertini today. Uh, so we're heading up to Agnes, which is just Agnes Creek, which is oh, about three and a half hours from here. So we've got to start packing up and get ready and get on the road. All right, so what are you super excited about? My birthday. Why, it's what? almost my birthday. Almost? Gee. Two more sleep and then to my birthday. Two more? Wow. And how old are you going to be? Five. Wow. Mate, why are you growing up so big? Hey? Because I'm growing. Mate, I'm and six. how? And you're six. Why are you guys getting up, growing up so now. big, mate? I'll be seven oh. in like ten years. You gotta stop growing, mate. I'll be seven in like. I'm gonna miss out. Like... Hey, getting so I'll big. I'll be seven in like ten hundred days. Oh, ten hundred days. Okay. Bo well, it's not Bo that long, but. Bo um... And I'm gonna get lots of. I'm gonna, I am gonna get lots of presents for my birthday. You don't know that. Because I ordered <laughs> one unicorn toy and what, you couple of Barbies and oh. <laughs> one more control. <laughs> And what about I'll mate? She oh. wants one of mine. Oh, well, anyway. I asked Well, her. you'll have to wait. Look, there's no guarantee on what you're gonna get. You just have to wait I, she, for I, the the birthday she said fairies. She wants one all right. Of, she said she wants one of the controls. No, she only wants she only wants one of those mo controls because you want one of those mo controls, don't you? She wants that. She wants a little Jeep one. Oh, anyway. That's like well. All right, well, it's uh, super exciting that Emily's birthday is in two days. We're super excited that we're leaving Cooper Peter because we've been staying here for longer than two days. We're filling up, heading up to Agnes Creek, which, oh, yeah, super excited to get out of here. We'll do the uh, Cooper Peter sign on the way out because we just didn't get time. Well, we didn't have a car. We had to get it fixed, which uh, Mick was a bloody legend. Anyway. I'll um, leave it here and we'll see you at the next town. Bye! Oh. And in the next episode, we head to the most magical place in the Northern Territory, Uluru. Man, how exciting is this? <laughs> <laughs> Super exciting. Well, it's more than a vibe. You can't explain it. It gets you in the feel goods. You're looking at now, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long 30 seconds. I had to check composure. Um, it's called You Have No get Time Management Skills. No, it's like, get, get, get another one in. Make sure to smash that subscribe button!